Rifat al-Hassad is the uncle of the current president of Syria, Bashar al-Hassad. He was the brother of the former president, Hafez, and was exiled from Syria for an alleged coup d'etat in 1984. In 2006, he became a UK resident. There are currently proceedings in France and Spain against Mr. Assad, following allegations by an NGO of corruption, tax evasion and money laundering. His assets in these two countries, which form the bulk of his wealth, have been seized. Why is all this relevant to Gibraltar? Well, Rifat al-Assad and his sons are the beneficiaries of the Europort Trust. The Trust has a number of assets, primarily buildings six to nine Euroports, valued at approximately 31 million pounds. The Trust is managed by two companies, Fiduciary, which is owned by the family trusts of Peter Isola, Lawrence Isola, and Financial Services Minister Albert Isola. Fiduciary has appointed a second trustee, Summit, owned by Andrew Haynes. The trust is selling the assets, including six to nine Europort, to another entity called Glenthorne Trust, which is 75% owned by the family trusts of Peter, Lawrence and Albert Isola, although they are personally excluded from those trusts. According to a judgment by the Chief Justice Anthony Dudley, the trustees have come to the Supreme Court seeking approval in the context of what de facto amounts to self-dealing. Lawrence Isla has told the court that he's been in discussions with Mr. Assad since 2014 and that it is Mr. Assad and his family's desire to exit the investment in the Europort building because of Brexit and because he has a pressing need for money after the freezing of the French and Spanish assets. Mr. Justice Dudley says he's satisfied that the trustees can reasonably believe that the proceeds used to buy the Europort buildings came from gifts made by the King of Saudi Arabia to Mr. Assad, and not from the proceeds of criminal conduct. He has, however, suggested it would be prudent for the trustees to give the Office of Criminal Prosecution and Litigation 10 working days' notice before making any distribution, in case there is any information which the authorities may have, which the trustees may not be aware of. The Chief Justice said the trustees acted properly by appointing a second trustee in this matter, and prudently by bringing the matter before the court.